so for this video, we will be talking about the computation of plant density using the square system. So using the square system, ganito lang yung magiging layout niya. Then, in order for us to compute the number of trees that can be planted in this system, we will just use the formula number of plants equals area over the planting distance, then you will square the planting distance. Some common mistakes na nangyayari dito is kapag kunwari given sa problem na 8 by 8. Ang karandiwang ginagawa ng students, 8 by 8, tas isa squared pa nila, which is wrong. So, dapat, kung ang planting distance is 8 meters, so 8, then naka-square lang yun. So, area divided by yung ating planting distance and squared. Ganun lang ang pag-compute ng planting density using the square system. So for this video, we will talk about calculating the planting density using the quincunx or the diagonal system. So for the diagonal system, the only difference between this and the square system is that merong extra trees sa gitna. So ganito yung magiging layout niya. So ito ay uh, mas complicated lang ng konti yung formula. Yung formula is meron na siyang uh, part ng main crop at meron na rin mga filler crops. So, ganito rin magiging formula. So, the number of plants equals the area divided by the planting distance squared. That is familiar because ayun niyo ang ating square system. Then, plus ayan. So, dito meron na tayong length over the planting distance minus 1 times the weed over the planting distance minus 1. One. So, yung part na to ng formula accounts for the filler trees or mga filler crops na ilalagay natin sa quincunx system. For this video, we will be talking about how to compute the planting density using the triangular or hexagonal system. So, to compute, meron lang tayong simple na formula. So, area divided by the planting distance squared times 0 0.866. So, kailangan lang natin tandaan dito yung value na 0 0.866 because that is a constant value.